CataractCoach.com. Capsule polish or capsule vacuuming. What is better? What do you prefer? Come on, people. Teach me. Let's look at this case here. Routine cataract case. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nice rexes. Cleaning up the cortex here. Everything looks pretty good. Nice incision. Good draping. I'm, I'm pretty happy here. But as we clean up the cortex, you can see on the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim, there's that frosty stuff, those lens epithelial cells or some cellular debris. And what are we going to do about that? You can see a lot of it, right? Now, there have been studies one way or the other showing you should remove it, you shouldn't remove it. Who knows? But, you know, I can understand it will decrease the inflammatory burden on the eye. So let's fill the capsular bag here with our cohesive viscoelastic. Nice big caps are filled, reasonable looking caps are excess. I'll take it. Now let's clean it up. Here's a capsule polisher. So I'm going to go here and use this device and kind of polish or scrape mechanically the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim here. And you can see you can do about 180 degrees this way, flip the, the, the instrument over, and then do the other side as well. And that cleans it up pretty nicely. But is this sufficient? That's the big question here. And I'll say it's not really going to do a whole lot. Yeah, you look at this picture here. It removes the material. It looks pretty good. You're pretty happy. But is that enough? So I'm going to show you why you can actually get more just using the IA probe. So this is helpful. I will agree. And listen, I like doing it. And you see me doing it in the video right here in front of you. But at the end here, watch, I'll put the cap, the eye oil in the capsule bag. And at the end, I'm going to go in with the IA probe and I'm going to clean up a little bit more. And there's more lens material or cellular debris that we're going to clean up from that undersurface of the anterior capsule rim. And I think the IA probe with a low level of vacuum is probably better than just a mechanical way of, you know, scraping it with friction. So here's the lens in the capsule bag. You can see nice looking Rexus has overlap in the optic 360. Get that rotated where we want it. And now when I put the IA probe in the eye, I can actually vacuum and clean that up. Now, here's just using the chopper. Going in that sub incisional space, I can polish with a chopper. You don't need a special instrument per se. This chopper that I've designed has a you know, flat tip, and that can be used to polish it if you think that's helpful. But watch as I put the eye probe back in the eye. So as we get back inside the eye here, we can take out the viscoelastic from behind the lens. We'll lift that up, vacuum all that out. Look at the underserves, the anterior capsule room. There's still some lens debris there. So I'll now go with my foot barely on the vacuum. Look at that more material. I think the vacuum of the eye tip is probably more effective than just the mechanical scraping of a capsule polishing instrument. I think probably the best of both is to use it both instruments, do both. Why not polish it with the mechanical method and then come back inside with the IA probe like this when the lens already in the capsule bag and clean it up a little bit more. And that looks really quite nice. So I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment below, what are you doing? Are you doing no capsule polishing? Cause it doesn't really matter. Are you polishing with a mechanical device like those capsule polishers or maybe your chopper? Or are you doing a vacuum with the IA tip here? Are you going to polish it this way? Or are you doing a combination? But I need to know in the comments below. Let's kind of get a consensus here. What are we doing, people? Teach us. So here we'll seal up the incision at the end of the case. Now I do want to show you one more video clip coming up here. And that's going to show you that, you know, nothing is just completely 100% safe. By the way, I'm pretty happy with that Rexus and that overlap. That looks, that looks like a nice case. If that's my signature, I'm a very happy man. Let me show you the next case. The next case is from my friend, Dr. Rishi Gupta from Canada. He's a vitreoretinal surgeon working with a resident here. He's going to use the eye probe or his resident is to polish the undersurface of that anterior capsule. Watch carefully. I've never seen this before. Let me show you. So using this eye probe, kind of vacuuming gently, and removing some lens material, okay. Going back and forth, and that looks pretty good. And then look carefully what happens. That material's gone, okay. And then, all of a sudden, whoa. Did you catch that? It caught some of the capsule. So be careful, there is no such thing as a zero risk procedure. Thanks for watching.